he was just always the bright spot and always encouraging and, and telling us to hold our heads up. So we hold on to that voice. Don Johnson holds tight to the memory of her son, Ross. He was only 21 when he was gunned down in late October, leaving behind a three year old daughter and a fiance. He loved the holidays. He loved family get togethers and we couldn't even have Thanksgiving because I could not get with my parents and the family without him there because his absence was so strong. On October 22nd, someone shot and killed him as he sat in a car at Sneed and Benson Streets in Reedsville. It's been nearly two months and still no suspects. Uh, the shooting took place in a neighborhood. Uh, we know that there are people who have information that have not come forward or have not responded. We miss our children. We lost too many. This week, the family also mourns the loss of their daughter. One year ago, 24 year old Taylor Johnson overdosed and died after taking fentanyl laced Xanax. Her death, also an open case for Reedsville police to find the person who gave it to her. Ross and Taylor's father, Alan, says it's hard to keep the faith. The holidays are going to be surreal. A lot of pleasure in, in getting the gifts but a lot of sorrow because they're not there to share it with us. This is a small community. This has been our my home for 48 years, and I, I thought I was raising my children in a, in a safe community. They know they can't bring them back, but this family does hope for answers and for justice. Crime Stoppers is offering a $3,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest and conviction. As always, you can remain anonymous.